Having unbreakable self-discipline is just as important in your retirement years as it is during your working years, especially with all the free time that you've now got on your hands. In this video, I'm diving into a topic that's crucial for anyone looking to enjoy their retirement years to the fullest, self-discipline. And I'll show you how you can build unbreakable self-discipline in retirement with five practical rules that you can immediately apply right after this video ends. Now I know what you might be thinking. I've worked my whole life and now you're asking me for more self-discipline. Absolutely. Stick around and I'll explain how maintaining good self-discipline in retirement can actually make your retirement much more rewarding. And I'll share five practical strategies to help you develop good discipline in retirement. And these aren't just some throwaway tips that won't actually impact your life in any way. These are tips that I actually use on myself. They changed my retirement and I've got no doubt that they'll change yours too, if you apply them correctly. So I've broken this video into two parts. And in the description, you'll find timestamps for each part and the five strategies. The first part is why self-discipline is important in retirement. And this is just a brief introduction. The second part is five practical tips on how to develop self-discipline in retirement. Okay, sit back, relax, and let's dive into it. No matter what your objectives for retirement are, you'll most certainly have to work on them to have a fulfilling and rewarding retirement. And if you don't have any discipline, you probably won't put in the effort and your days will drift by with nothing much achieved at all. And that's a real possibility now that you are no longer working and don't have the structure that comes with being at work. Being able to delay self-gratification and short-term temptation is crucial if you want a fulfilling retirement. Being self-disciplined means that you will show up, put in the effort and do it as you promised you would. Whether that be exercise, health, travel, learning a new skill, and just growing yourself, which should never stop just because you are retired. It also means to have good habits. You might recognize that you're not self-disciplined. Fortunately for you, this is a skill that can be learned. It means that you can learn and master it, even if you're starting from zero. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to discipline yourself so that you can reach the objectives of retirement faster and live a better retired life. Strategy number one is think long-term. Ask yourself these questions. What is the vision for your retirement? What would you like to achieve over the next 20 to 30 years? What is the purpose of your retirement? Once you've answered these questions, create a bucket list. Would you like to travel? What countries do you want to visit? What cities do you want to visit? Are there any sporting or cultural events on your wish list? Always keep the bigger picture in mind. Think, how do today's actions help you achieve a better tomorrow? This perspective helps you push through less enjoyable tasks by linking them to long-term benefits. My second strategy is set achievable goals. Goals give you direction. Set realistic yet challenging goals with specific deadlines. It might be mastering a new skill or completing a project. Whatever it is, write it down. Set a timeline and track your progress. Make the goals short term, three month or six month. I prefer to set my goals at no longer than a year. Most of my goals are monthly and 12 weeks. That way, I'll get on with the things that need doing to achieve them. Anything beyond a year is a bucket list item and is more linked to your vision. I check my bucket list items once a year at the beginning of the year and pick things from the bucket list to add to my calendar. I'll talk more about how I do that in the next steps. However, I do recommend a book on the subject, The 12 Week Year. There's a link below in the description if you want to get the book. I've used it as the basis for setting all my goals and it's helped me enormously. Strategy number three is remove temptations. Now you've got the bigger picture stuff out of the way, it's time to focus on the everyday stuff. As humans, we are wired to avoid anything that is a struggle, pain or effort. So given the choice of watching Netflix or work, we choose Netflix because it's easier and it's instant gratification. When you work, it's a lot easier to avoid Netflix because you have work to do. And for a lot of us, we've got bosses. When you are retired, you have no work and no bosses. And that's when the problems can start. You no longer go to work. You're now at home all day. In retirement, your home is your castle, but it's also full of distractions. Start by identifying what pulls you away from more productive activities. Maybe it's the TV, maybe it's social media, Maybe your space is too cluttered. Once you know, you can take steps to eliminate them. This could mean setting specific TV watch hours, deleting social media apps, 
or organising your living space. All of these things will help promote productivity. Getting out of the house is critical. It's so easy for you to get distracted at home and spend the day consuming unhealthy snacks while watching useless stuff. Sound familiar? So why not go to the gym every day for an hour? Or go to the local Starbucks to read? That's what I do. Maybe a walk to the local park to have your lunch or a daily three mile walk. These are all things that I do to get out of the house and break the potential monotony of the day. Not just that, they take away the convenience and the distractions of the things I have at home. Strategy number four is build a daily routine. So you've got a vision for your retirement. You've set some goals and you've removed any temptations. Now you can get to work on building a productive routine. Start with something small, like waking up at a consistent time and planning your day the night before. Gradually incorporate more into your routine. Consistency is key and building slowly helps embed these practices into your daily life. Schedule it on your calendar. Block off the required amount of time. I put everything in my Google Calendar and not just that, I colour code it too. Purple for exercise. Pink for time with my wife. Green for learning something new. Grey for routine appointments like the dentist or supermarket shopping. Every Sunday evening, I schedule the week ahead, trying to stick to doing certain things at the same time on the same day, especially the routine things that I mentioned earlier, like the supermarket shopping. I then build any other flexible discretionary tasks around them, but I always prioritise doing things that will move the needle on the goals so that my vision for my retirement comes to life. My final strategy is vital if you don't want to derail your retirement and undo all the effort from the previous strategies. Strategy number five is don't wait for the right mood. And by this I mean don't do things only when you feel like doing them. It's easy to fall into the trap of waiting to do something only when you feel like doing it. But you didn't do that when you were at work, did you? You went to work no matter what your mood. It should be no different in retirement. The trick is to start acting instead of waiting. Whether it's exercise or a hobby, begin immediately. The mood you're waiting for often follows on from action, not the other way around. Often when I go to the gym, I don't feel like it, but I always discipline myself to go because after I've been, it always lifts my mood. So if you're not careful, you'll never be in the mood. Without the imposed structure of work life, it's easy to put things off because you've got plenty of time, haven't you? Well, no, actually, you haven't. You've got exactly the same amount of time that you had when you went to work. You're just using it differently. When you went to work, you were disciplined and structured and things were scheduled and it shouldn't be any different now that you're in retirement. Here's a simple tip to get you going. Check your calendar for the things that you've scheduled and at the allocated hour, count one, two, three and get on with it. Planning on going to the gym at 9am? One, two, three, get your gym kit and go. Want to read something educational at 3pm in the afternoon? One, two, three, open the book and get on with the reading. Supermarket shopping at 5pm on Thursday? One, two, three, get the bags and get in the car. It's as easy as one, two, three. You get the gist. Try it. But whatever you do, don't put things off just because you're not in the mood. So those are the five strategies that I've used on myself so that I've got a much more rewarding, fulfilling and happy retirement. They've worked for me and I hope they work for you. Now that I've outlined these strategies, it's time to put them into practice. Implementing these strategies into your daily life might come with challenges. But remember, gradual and consistent change leads to lasting habits. And habits are usually ingrained into you if you do them for 30 days continuously. Don't be discouraged by setbacks adjust as needed and keep pushing forward. Self-discipline in retirement is more than just staying busy. It's about creating a lifestyle that is sustainable and fulfilling. Try out these strategies and build for yourself a fulfilling and rewarding retirement lifestyle. Thank you for watching. I hope these five strategies have helped you. Let me know in the comments how they work for you and also share some of your own tips so that others can benefit from your wisdom. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember to make every second count.